Hey guys, it's day 99 of being a boy and I've come to the Duxford Air Show. Apparently Kelly J. Keane's doing something today in Dublin. She says she cares about autistic people, but obviously she doesn't because she's double booked it with this. There's actually a long history of trans folks in aviation, and not just because of the autism connection. You see, the Soviet Union has an old trans boy regiment called the Nashexa. And people will tell you they were women, but only boys like planes, so obviously they were trans. It said that they were really good pilots because they had a low centre of gravity and they were short kings, but that's biologically essentialist, so I don't know if it's true. And then more recently, there was Colonel Russell Williams of the Canadian Air Force. People say he wasn't really trans, he just liked stealing underwear and dressing up in the clothes that his victims had after he'd killed and raped them. But Stonewall says that crossdressers come under the trans umbrella, so he's one of us too. You can actually write to him in prison, I think he's still in there. I found an autogyrophile. Isn't it great? Ooh, it's the red arrows. Did the trans flag just for me? Mm. 